Welcome to another video installment from ScanForce. Today we're going to be showing you our enhancement called Pick to Palette. The idea behind this enhancement is it allows you to stage orders using our picking programs that's in our advanced and premium versions. And you can stage items to a package or palette. And then when you go to actually ship them out, simply scan a palette ID tag, and then it'll go ahead and know all the items and quantities, lot, serial numbers, etc., that are all tied to that palette to then ship out. So this requires our WMS Advanced or Premium as well as our labeling software. So let's get started here. So on the mobile device, which you're looking at now, I'm gonna go ahead and log in and I'm gonna launch my order processing and sales order picking. This is going to ask me for a sales order number, which I'm gonna go ahead and scan. It's gonna connect up real time to Sage, grab the information for that order. This is utilizing the DSD ScanForce multi-bin solution. So we're being prompted for bins. The bin I'm going to stage the items to is my shipping bin. Again, this can be default as well. So you see it automatically populating there. I'm gonna accept that. And now because of multi-bin and the uh, bin allocations at the sales order level, we're able to detail uh, the direction of where to go and what to get for this order. So you can see here, it starts with the bin A to A and then goes on from there, telling me what uh, direction I need to go through my warehouse. At the top, you'll see now there is a package. It defaults to one. The plus increases your package or pallet. And then here's the print button that allows you to print the uh, pallet ID tag. So I'm going to go ahead and start now and grab my first item, D1000. I'm going to confirm my bin. And I'm going to say all 10 fit in this first pallet. So now that drops off. Now, I have 15 of this next item here, and I still have some space on my pallet. So I'm going to keep that at package or pallet 1, scan my next item here, confirm my bin. And let's say only five now still fit on the first pallet. Now I'm going to move to my next pallet. Well. First of all, what I could do is if I had a printer, you would see it, but I'm going to discuss it here. You'll hit the print button. That'll print off the pallet ID tag. You also can have that pallet ID tag uh, have just a barcode for the pallet ID, or you can also have it list out the items that are on that pallet. Now, I'm going to go to pallet or package two and complete my shipping. Or I'm sorry, my picking. So I'm going to grab my item. Once again, validate my bin. And now I'm going to put the remaining 10 on that second package or pallet. So now I'm done. Send my data back to my Sage system here. If I missed a line, it would warn me with the unresolved lines. I picked this complete, so it's gonna send it back to my Sage system. And in my Sage system, it did a couple of things here. I'm gonna pull up the order. And I'm gonna go to lines and show you that here with the multi-bin side of things, we reallocated this now to the shipping bin. So when I pull up my bin allocations here, you can see it's in shipping. And then also there's this little box icon. This is where we're storing the information as far as what's on each pallet or in each package. So since I had two, when I do the lookup, you'll see here are the two packages. Select that first one, you'll see the two items here and the quantities. And then the second pallet or package is right here. Now, the actual shipping or packing of this order now needs to occur. So on the mobile device, back out of here, go into pallet shipping. Launch my sales order by scanning it. You also can key it in or utilize your lookup. At this point, all I have to do is scan the package numbers. So if I needed to, I could do a lookup, and you'll see here the two that we have. Or since we print off our package uh, pallet ID tags, I can go ahead and scan those. So I'll scan the first one. Now all you have to do is scan through these. If I try to send my data, it's going to warn me that I have unscanned packages because I only scanned the first package or pallet. So it ensures that all pallets go out the door. So now I'll back up, scan my second package or pallet. Now I send my data over. It's a completely shipped order, sends it back to my Sage system, and now it's going to populate shipping data entry with that package information that we captured when we staged the order. So I'll grab my batch, look up that order. Here are the lines. When I go to the package information, it's populated with what we did again when we staged the order. Here's the second package here, it's 10. Go to the first one, both items. Thanks again for taking time to look at this today. I encourage you to look at the rest of our videos. Contact us with any questions or if you'd like to see pricing. Thank you.